Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today's perfume review is all about La Fille de Berlin by Serge Lutens. This is a perfume that was on my radar for a really long time. This brand used to be at Sephora stores in Canada and they always had a tester of this out. And so whenever I used to go in there, I used to spray some on or on a card. And then if I could, I used to get a sample of it and just use up my sample, then go back and ask for another sample. <laughs> but then I never actually pulled the trigger and bought the perfume for myself, even though I just should have, I think at that point. Um, earlier this year, this was available at discounters. And so I finally decided to get it. And I do have the 100 ml size, which I'm really happy about actually. Um, as you can see, I've gone through quite a bit. It has a beautiful deep rose color which is perfect because this is a rose perfume. And I think that the reason I never bought it is because I just felt like it was so basic for a rose perfume. It really has a true rose scent. It doesn't develop a lot, it doesn't have a lot of complexity. And I think that's why I've gone through so much of it because it's kind of one of those, what we say, dumb reach perfumes. It's kind of, you know, you know what you're getting, if I'm really stressed out or I'm going to be busy or I just want something that's going to lift me up a little bit, I can spray, you know, a bunch of this on and I'll immediately feel my mood shift and feel like I've done something for myself because this is a perfume that I wear for myself. Um, the basis of this perfume is the rose and i think to understand its character you do have to understand what the brand is saying about the perfume and in this case Serge Lutens, the brand is saying that um first of all they were inspired by the city of berlin and then also that this is a you know a woman that's uh ro risen up from that city and they call this a rose with thorns and i think that's because it's a very very cold rose so it doesn't have any warmth to it it doesn't um feel cozy or envelop you in any kind of way it is kind of a sharp cold rose perfume and when i think of this perfume i really think of a skyscraper or like a concrete building. I think of something that's tall and invincible and kind of um, strong against any kind of the elements. It's not something that's going to fall easily or bend or be molded in any kind of way. And I think that if that sort of image appeals to you, then you would really like this perfume. I will say that I have gotten zero compliments when I wear this. For some reason, when people smell this, they're just kind of like, oh, like, what is that? Because it is a really, it's a barrier. Wearing this perfume is, you know, you're kind of saying that you want to be left alone and you don't want anyone to approach you or to be inside your scent bubble. And people kind of respond to it in the same way. And I've I've had people that even love rose perfumes or ro love a rose note just say that they don't really like this. And I think it's it's kind of one of those perfumes that you you have to be in the mood for. And even for myself, I'm not always in the mood for this because it is such a cold, cold perfume. You know, if I'm already feeling cold or I'm already feeling isolated, I definitely don't wanna wear something that's going to move me further in that direction. But there are times when I just want something that is very simple and, and you know, La Fille de Berlin is really simple for that reason. Um, it's kind of reminding me of rose water. If you like the smell of rose water, but you wish that it was more potent or longer lasting, then you should definitely check out this perfume also because this is an eau de parfum concentration. So it will last longer than your traditional rose water does. I, if you're familiar with, you know, um, 
having a rose water spray from the drugstore or anywhere else, the grocery store even, and you spray that on your face or spray that on your body, the scent has gone pretty quickly. It doesn't really last a really long time, but this is a perfume that you can smell for a few hours. I would say at least four hours. I'm in a really nice scent bubble as long as I spray it liberally. I also really, really like spraying this in my hair because I find that the perfume just lasts way longer. The rose in this is um, a mix of rose and geranium, and you so you do get that greenness that the geranium can sometimes bring to the rose. It's supposed to be a rose with thorns, as I said before, and so you can get, you know, a, a greenness to it. There is patchouli, but not a scratchy patchouli, and it's definitely not what I would call a rose patchouli scent, you know. I feel like there are brands that do that, and then there's rose oud, there's rose sandalwood. This is none of those. This is just your basic cold rose with a real metallic edge, I would say. Thanks for watching. Bye.